Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. A few weeks ago, I posted on Facebook and Instagram a bit about my first aid kit and like kind of what we carry in our vehicle uh, to be prepared for a disaster. And so since Casey and I had done the food video, which was more like our house, you know, uh, prepared disaster, you know, food supply, I got a couple comments and a couple questions about uh, like a bug out bag or what we would take, you know, if we would take that food um, that we had in those buckets that were stored in our home, if we would take that stuff in our vehicle in the event that maybe we had to leave our house and go somewhere. And so uh, the answer is kind of yes and no. Those those buckets for um, that we that we set up, you know, for home is what we would consider base camp food. So um, those would most likely just stay here you know, 100 different reasons why we would take it or why we wouldn't take it. But today what we're talking about is what do we carry in our vehicle in the event that uh, we have a disaster and we need to help ourselves, right? So I'm gonna go over, kind of got this split up in a couple different areas here, but I'm gonna go over um, a few things that I feel like you might not have, but uh, but I feel like, you know, that it, for me, it's a, it's a necessity to, uh, to carry. Um, but maybe you won't or something like that. So let's just dive into it. Um, the one thing I don't have in here is my jack and my tools, you know, uh, to change a tire, you know, and a spare tire, obviously. That is, that is just so important to have that on your, uh, on your vehicle or any vehicle. I know a lot of people uh, probably can't change a spare tire, but maybe someone can help you to, you know, if in the event that you need to fix a tire. So always, always spare tire, a jack, the tools you need. You know, a lot of vehicles now have the locking uh, nuts or they require a special um, tool to get the lug nuts off. Make sure you have all that stuff. Take one day, check your air pressure in your uh, spare tire, make sure that stuff is in there, you know. Um, winter, summer, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. It's just very important to have a spare. Um, so another thing that I carry in every vehicle is a good set of jumper cables. So we have a toolbox on the back of the van and these first few items here are going to be like toolbox items. Jumper cables, always have a good set of jumper cables, and these are going to go in the toolbox, okay? Uh, secondly, is I got an air hose, and I have a, this is a Viair air compressor. I'll do a video in, in another day, and we'll talk about like why I chose this air compressor over something. This is kind of a, what I would call a, a little bit more expensive. You know, I mean, you can get, um, much cheaper air compressors that will help you get out of a bind if, if need be. So, uh, but there's reasons why I chose this one. And so this is the one that I carry in the van daily. All right, so the next thing is this little black Pelican box. This kind of goes with the air compressor. This has got tire gauge and actually a plug kit, stuff like that. Um, so these, these items right here are something that that I carry in the vehicle that maybe not everyone would carry, uh, maybe in a small car or something. I mean, you can get a small set of jumper cables that uh, you know fit in a tiny little bag. They're not the best, they're not the highest quality. They, uh, they don't carry a voltage real good, some of them don't, but hey, it's better than nothing. And if they'll get you, if they'll help you, you know, jump your battery off one time, then they're totally worth the 10, 15 bucks that you pay for those cheap ones. But jumper cables and an air compressor, something I always keep in the vehicle. Um, the, so these these right here are kind of my three important things right here, you know, so uh, the bucket is going to be first aid and and, uh, and and personal stuff. That's what this is. So I actually have a Pelican box in the van, but we keep this bucket because uh, if we're not in the van and we want to remove those items out of there and take them in another vehicle, throw them in this bucket and then we can take them in, in another vehicle. The Pelican box is actually bolted down in the van and we're able to lock it. So that's the reason the Pelican box is not in here and everything's in the bucket, okay? So I'm gonna go over what's in this one, but uh, we're gonna go over these two bags in a different video um, another day, but I'll tell you why I do carry these. So this is toe straps. Um, you know, I have a couple different toe straps, some clevises. I have everything that I need for the vehicles that I drive. So, you know, this is gonna be different for everyone, uh, depending on what kind of vehicle you have, uh, whether you, you know, clevises and how you hook up to your vehicle, uh, or even if it's even possible to, you know, use such a thing. So toe strap bag, very important. Okay. <clears throat> and these bags, these are not expensive. I, I actually, 
I have had these bags for years and the zippers are still good on them and stuff, but Walmart is the best place I have ever found to get cheap bags uh, just like this one right here. I think you can get them for around less than $10. I know you can get these bags and you can fit a lot of stuff in these, okay? So uh, this one right here is my tool bag. I, I, t I carry this everywhere <clears throat> and, uh, excuse me. So this this bag is gonna be different for everybody also. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna depend on your abilities and uh, you know how comfortable you are using tools and, and what you're capable of and then it's also going to depend on what type of vehicle you're driving um, you know whether you're metric standard both you know things like that so uh, I have a variety of tools in here uh, you know for, for what I'm capable of and for what my vehicles require in the event that I need to work on them so uh, one really really important item I carry in every one of my vehicles is a good good saw just a good folding saw. You never know when you're gonna get somewhere, tree branch be down on the road or something like that and you get past. So uh, that's one item. But like I said, we'll go over in another video in the future what we actually carry in this bag right here. So this one right here is kind of what this video is really, you know, geared towards. And this is, uh, this is my, like my first aid. I just feel like having a good first aid kit in, uh, in any vehicle is is just essential you know i mean that's seems like when you're when you're away from home that's when you know disasters really happen a lot of times and so uh so, some of you may think this is overkill for me this is this is as good as it gets and this is peace of mind having these items you know uh in our vehicle and also the ability to be able to move them from one vehicle to the other and take up very minimal space so uh first thing is a is a food bag there's not much in here. These are just snacks, okay? Uh, and I have some bars in here, some sausage, Vienna sausages. We have some tuna in here. This is just if somebody gets hungry, we're driving down the road and, you know, we, we, we don't want to stop or if someone, you know, gets hungry and we're broke down on the side of the road, we have something to get us by, okay? And uh, so I just call that my snack bag. Keep an eye on it. Try to change it out, you know, throw the stuff away. Uh, make sure nothing spoils, stuff like that, okay? And uh, the thing that's gonna go along with your food bag is gonna be a, a bottle of water for, generally about four bottles of water would probably be good, you know, six bottles. You know, you're probably gonna have other drinks, you know, in your vehicle while you're traveling anyways, but these are spares, you know, so in spare snacks, spare water <clears throat> that we just carry everywhere. And these are kind of put in here and, and left alone and not touched unless needed, right? Um, Next thing, <clears throat> this right here is just some cotton gloves. And then I also have some uh, some shop paper towels in here. Ziploc baggie, I mean, this works great. You know, uh, you need to check your oil. You gotta get your tools out and stuff. You got some spare gloves and uh, you know, or maybe you don't have gloves and you broke down and it's cold outside. You know, it's, it's just great to know that we have these. So I think I have uh, four pairs of cotton gloves in here. And uh, you know this this is kind of geared towards four people. We're a family of four, so that's 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 how this is geared up, I guess. So four gloves, some paper towels, um, wipes. Okay, uh, you you know you just can't go anywhere without these. These uh, it, we have we have them in our glove box in all of our vehicles. But also you know this is a, a brand new package, and we just we carry those everywhere. You never know when someone will get sick, needs to be cleaned up, whatever the case is. Those are very important. Uh, if anyone wears glasses, this right here is important. So uh, Casey wears glasses. And so uh, for us, you know, this is an old pair of glasses that's not too awful scratched up, but uh, she doesn't wear contacts much, uh, hardly at all. So if she is wearing her glasses and we're out somewhere and her glasses get broke and we cannot fix them, having a spare pair of glasses, uh, you know, is gonna be much needed. So uh, especially, you know, if we're, we're in another state or we're on vacation, whatever the case is, you know, so she just got these in a hard case. Um, it's a pair that she likes that are still comfortable. And, uh, you know, they're also in a Ziploc baggie just to double protect them from moisture, okay? Okay, so this next item, I got three bottles here. Um, we don't generally travel without a firearm, you know, anywhere that we go. So, uh, you know, we're always out trapping, we're hunting, we're doing things like that. We have our on carry uh, weapons or our on person weapons that we carry and stuff. So we 
all pretty much have about the same type of weapons. So we have three different ammos here and three different bottles. These are, you know, uh, watertight and everything. So it's just some spare ammo I throw in here just so we have it, okay? And then the, uh, the last thing is a good first aid kit. Um, I, I was, I was kind of debating whether I'd go over what's in this kit uh, with you guys, and, and I don't think I will. I just say that that's, you know, this is pretty much wraps it up, what, what I try to carry everywhere I go. Um, <clears throat> whenever I go over this, you know, what's inside this, this is also gonna be geared towards, uh, you know, different families, your age, uh, where you are in the in the world, in the country, you know, what state you're in. A first aid kit, you know, can be uh, can be built a bunch of different ways. So this one right here, this is just an old box, you know, that come out of an old truck I had one time. And and I built the first aid kit, you know, that, that works for us. Uh, but not only is there just first aid items in here, you know, there's a couple other things like a flashlight, uh, spare flashlights, spare batteries, spare pocket knife, and uh, and a few other you know kind of nifty items that uh, that I feel comfortable having in here you know in case I need them. So um, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> we'll do a video in a week or two, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but uh, we'll we'll actually go over what's actually in our first aid kit, and then what's in our tool bag, and then our toe strap bag, and then maybe even talk about the air compressor and stuff. So. Right there, guys, that's, that, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, having, having these bags that I have, and uh, you know, you can, you can pretty much get yourself out of just about any bind or hold still wherever you're at until help comes, you know? Um, one other thing I feel like that could go inside of, you know, this kit right here, if your battery's dead and you don't have your phone on the charger, you know, and, uh, and you're trying to call for help or something. One other thing that would be really good inside of, of, of a good, um, what I, you know, my vehicle disaster kit would be one of those battery packs that you could charge, uh, you know, a USB with. Uh, we carried those when we were hiking the Appalachian Trail and you, you can get a, for 50 bucks, you can buy the ones that we used for Anchor, I believe was the brand of them. And you can get like, uh, gosh, 10 or 12 iPhone charges off one of those things. I would highly recommend that you know you have one of those in your vehicle or maybe that's in your uh your bag that you carry around with you every day but uh that is one other thing that i feel like would make this kit that much better you know so anyways with that thank you guys for watching thanks for watching the channel questions down below um that would be great for the upcoming uh videos that i'm planning on doing let me know what you want uh to add or what you think might take away from this and uh We'll talk about what's in the other bags and um, hopefully it'll all be great. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.